everybody, it's Tamara from Prairie Town Girl here on Etc. Eyes, and I have a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, I have a craft haul, which is always fun, but um, it's a little bittersweet for me actually, because the reason that I have received this um, mountain of craft supplies is unfortunately because my neighbor across the street passed away recently. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you may remember that I uh, made her a little journal um, for all her doctor's appointments because she was diagnosed with cancer last year on top of everything else that was going on and she tried really, really hard to, um, to fight it, but it, it just won out, unfortunately. Um, uh, oh. <laughs> Um, but she loved crafting and quilting and, um, you know, just everything. She made at least a thousand masks uh, and she didn't charge people for them. She just took donations, which was incredible. And she did that even while she was sick. Um, she was also very, very involved in Grandmothers for Grandmothers, um, which, if you're not aware, I believe it's an organization that... Um, it's grandmothers here in North America raise money and then they uh, send the funds to Africa to support grandmothers who are raising their grandchildren and I think it started because um, because of the AIDS epidemic and um, I'm not really sure of the whole um, uh, focus of the organization these days, but uh, she was very very involved and she made a lot of tote bags for fundraisers and things like that um, So she had lots of um, Everything she's she was she and I were a lot alike. We had uh, a lot of interest in a lot of things. So um, I'm going to show you some of the things that um, that her husband uh, gave to me um, and Yeah and we'll go from there. So we'll start with some of the fabric. Um, so there's this little box. I don't know if you can tell, but that's full of Christmas fabrics. And I think it's mostly fat quarters. Um, and so, oh, I didn't mention my, um, I'm not going to keep all of this for myself. Um, uh, my mom and my aunt and my niece all love sewing and crafting and everything just as much as I do, so I'll share it with them um, as well. Um, I'm going to give um, some of the fabric, um, the smaller pieces, I'm going to give to a, cra a quilting program at Canadian Mental Health Association here in my city. Um, and then anything else I find that I'm not going to use. I'll take it to the women's shelter here um, because they often have children there and they, you know, they need craft supplies and things to keep them busy and, and that sort of thing. So, um, but this, <laughs> this is all Christmas fabric and it's beautiful and um, I know my mom loves Christmas fabric but I might, I might keep this one for myself. Um, I might make a, a like a Christmas quilt or something like that. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I always have big ideas of making quilts, and I don't. I don't always get around to it. Um, this stack I will give to my mom though, because um, she loves. She is a quilter. She's a very very good quilter, and she loves working with batik fabric. And this is all batiks. And look at this one on the bottom, I love it. It's owls. And then um, there's another fun one in here. There is uh, there's turtles, there's uh, polar bears in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Look at that, I've never seen a batik like that. That's really cool. So um, yeah, I, I don't know what my mom will make, but I know she'll make something really beautiful with all of that. Um, I've got this bag here full of really nice cottons, but um, they're mostly small pieces. These would have been scraps from all of the masks that she was making. Um, so they might come in handy for um, quilt blocks and things like that, we'll see. And then um, 
I've got a couple stacks just like that size of fabric that I know I'm not going to use so I'll see if my aunt might want to um, play with them a little bit and then I've got uh, a couple of more big bags <laughs> and that's mostly stuff for there's some interfacing there's some stuff for backing quilts and that sort of thing so um, I won't go through all of that but related related to sewing um, I got some great Omni Grid rulers, which is really great because I just gave my mom back hers this size not too long ago. It's a 12 by 12, and then some straight rulers in a nice little caddy. So that'll be fun to use. And then all kinds of cutting mats. Oh my goodness! So I've got three. Three this size, oops, they're reflecting I think, but three that size, and then um, this one looks like it's that size, but, whoops, it folds, folds out. I think she did lots of crops and things like that, so this would have been something handy to uh, take with her. I got one this size. It's got a little bit of a warp on it though, and I already have my own this size, so I might give that one away. And then this well-loved one, which is about 30 by something or other. It's huge. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I have a place to put that, so we'll see. Um, this is also fun, a, a little caddy that spins around on, on a little thing. So I might retire my old, my sad old caddy that I've had for about 30 years <laughs> and transfer everything into that. We'll see. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Lots of, um, it's all scissors and rotary cutters, which is awesome because I was just thinking I'd have to go, I had to go and get a new uh, rotary cutter blade because mine has a skip in it, but you know, I don't know if I'll ever have to go back to the fabric store again, at least not for notions, because <laughs> I've got so much here. Um, all kinds of scissors, every size snip you could ever want, razor blades, um, some really nice um, pinking shears. I have a I have a set of pinking shears, but um, they also have a little bit of a skip in them, so that will be nice. Um, this is fun. Um, little caddy full of plastic snaps. Um, I don't use snaps a lot, but I've seen um, Lollipalooza, I think. Uh, over, she does a lot of journaling and paper crafting. She uses these in that sort of stuff, so um, it'll be fun to play with. And then um, my neighbor was into, she did a lot of card making, so it's cute little guillotine. That'll be nice. And then lots, lots and lots of pins. And all on uh, magnetic pin cushions, which I love. That's what I This is the one I use for myself. So lots of great pins. I was also, I was trying to use up all my thread um, as much as I had. And I was getting down to a pretty good manageable level. And now, look, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to buy thread anytime soon. I've got every color. I could ever possibly want. Come here. Come here. Ooh. And this wasn't part of the haul, but this <laughs> this is my new little friend who's just joined our household this week. Um, I'm not sure. I think her name might be Bianca. We're not really quite certain yet. Um, and her and Katya are still trying to get to know each other. <laughs> um, Alright, on with the haul. I've got a caddy here full of ribbon. And what's really cool, I just realized this morning, is 
these edges are blades and so you theoretically I guess you could just cut off the ribbon um, another ribbon holder full of pretty ribbons these ones are all Christmas ribbons more ribbons little small ribbons. I'm not sure she maybe used these when she was making masks. I'm not really sure. Um, I don't use this much ribbon, so I'm not sure what I'll do with all that. Um, I've got a box of um, bias binding, seam tape, that kind of thing. There's some really pretty ones in here. Um, look at those. Aren't they pretty? And I, I'm not sure if those are ones she made from scratch or not, but again, I won't need to buy bias tape for quite some time. <laughs> Let's see, we got another box here. Let's see. Oh, this is more trims. So really pretty scalloped edging. Um, floral edging. What else do we have here? Oh, I think this one is really pretty. I love that one. Um, oh, there's some pretty ones. All kinds of things to choose from. kind of like an organza, floral organza, um, okay, all kinds of stuff. Let's see, another one. Oh, zippers. This box is full, full, full of brand new zippers. I haven't gone through to see the lengths and the types and things, but again, I think there's pretty much Anything I would ever need, I've got a zipper for it. Um, uh -huh. Now this this bin is incredible. Um, so this is full of buttons, but not just any kind of button. These, I am pretty sure, these are all vintage buttons, um, and they're gorgeous. Like, let's just take a look at some of these. Let's see if you can see those. There's just a sample of them. Um, a lot of like coach coat size buttons, which is great because I like to make my own coats. Um, There's just so met so many in here. I, yeah, I can't. I mean, I could do a whole video just on buttons. <laughs> I guess let me know in the comment box if you want to see a video on buttons. But <laughs> I'll be very surprised if that happens. Um, and let's see. I've also got a couple more caddies here. So this. This one I think I'll keep. Um, she's got quite a few embossing powders, which is one of those things I've always wanted to try, but I just, I just never buy them for whatever reason. I just never get around to it, but all kinds of beautiful colors, um, a few different stamp pads, um, and I kept one stamp because um, it's a butterfly. <laughs> Um, I'm not really crazy about uh, wood-mounted stamps, but 
you know, I'll make an exception for a butterfly. <laughs> And then I think this is the last, this is the last caddy. Um, so this was just full of beads and jewelry making supplies. It's easier to see on that side. Um, I am trying to get away from beading and jewelry making and all that kind of stuff and I have loads of my own that I was planning to give to my niece and so I'll give her um, all of this stuff as well. And then in here I, I put in lots of the other um, wood mounted stamps. There's, there's tons in here. There's even um, a whole nativity set. <laughs> <laughs> These ones are foamy stamps though, but still, I'm not crazy about foamy stamps either. Lots of jump rings, lots of, um, just everything. <laughs> um, so that is going to find a new home. My sister is going to kill me, but <laughs> I'm going to give it all to my niece anyway. Um, yeah, so that's the gist of it. Um, it doesn't seem like, you know, that only took me 17 minutes to show you that, but I didn't go into everything, all of the pieces. Um, but, you know, in, it's just incredibly generous of uh, my neighbor to think of me, and um, it, it does make me sad. Oh, I should have mentioned there is a, a quilt that is almost finished. It just needs the binding around it. So um, I've asked my mom to help me and we're going to finish that quilt off and I'm going to give it back to her husband um, as a gift and a thank you and um, hopefully he can keep that as a, a nice memento of her, his wife's um, last project. So um, yeah, so that, that's my plans um, after I clean out my own craft room because <laughs> it is a big mess right now and I have to make room for all of this stuff but anyways um, I hope you enjoyed that I hope that uh, I mean I haven't given you any ideas for any ways to use any of this stuff but sometimes it's just fun to see what other people have so um, have a great day everybody um, come back soon and thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon bye bye